Hi people, good evening Eli, good evening Annelies, good evening Florcita, hello Kevin, hi Elida, so welcome to your class my dearest students, so the time is over. I got eight questions for you, question number one, Annelies, can you please help me to read question number one please? Oops, Annelise, thank you. Fine. Sorry. Actually. Okay, no yeah. worries, my princess. Can you please help me to read question number one? Describe your daily routine. Sorry. All right, thank you so much. So, teacher, I'm going to describe my daily routine, teacher. For example, in the morning, I always get up at 5 a.m., I take a shower, and then I have breakfast. So around 7 a.m. teacher, I almost ready to go to school or I almost ready to go to the university or go to the, go to my office. And then I work from 8 a.m. until 5 a.m. Then I came back around 6.30 p.m. and I had my dinner. At 7.30 p.m., I take my English classes, and then I, I'm ready to go to bed. This is going to be a good example, okay? But remember, you are going to explain your own example. So let me see. Elida, can you please help me to read uh, question number two? Remember, guys, I have a question, but you are going to choose only one. Thank you, Elida. Question number two. Do you have talents? Yes, no, why? All right, excellent. Teacher, yes. Yes, I have. Or oh, teacher, yes, I do. For example, teacher, I have three talents. I can swim, I can sing, and I can dance. No, teacher, in my case, I have just one talent. For example, <clears throat> I can sew. No, teacher, in my case, I have five talents. For example, teacher, I can speak English. I can speak Portuguese. I can ride a bicycle. I also can dance reggaeton or salsa or classic music. And also, teacher, I do gymnastic. So question number two, it's about your talents, like a hobbies too. Thank you, Elida. Question number three, Florcita, can you please help uh, read question three? Okay, teacher. Um, what do you do when you feel sad? Remember, ¿qué haces cuando te sientes triste? Well, teacher, it depends. Sometimes I like to listen to music. Well, teacher, when I feel sad, I really like to chat with my friends. No, teacher, in my case, uh, when I feel sad, I really like to spend my time by running or walking in the park or visiting my friends. So, no, teacher, in my case, when I feel sad, teacher, I really like to go and visit my parents or I really like to go and visit my brothers. They live in Santa Ana, for example. So what do you do when you feel sad? Thank you so much. So question number four, Kevin, please go ahead. Uh, sorry, teacher, what pregunta me dijo? Four. Number four. Okay. Who is the most influential person in your life? Thank you so much, Mr. Alvarez. So. Who's the most influential or who's the most important person in your life? Well, teacher, I have three people. No, teacher, I have two people. No, teacher, I have one person. But in my case, teacher, I have, let me see, I have two brothers. Let me see, yes, I have two people uh, that are very important in my life, my brothers. Why? Because, teacher, they always are <clears throat> next to me. Or oh, teacher, they always support me at any time. So my brothers, yes, that's a good example. Thank you so much. And Neri, welcome to your class. Could you please help me to read number five? Okay. Describe you describe your favorite place to live. Oh, teacher, I have many options. Option number one, 
I would like to be, I, excuse me, I would like to live in Apaneca City, teacher. Why? Well, teacher, be, the reason number one is because I like the weather there. I like the, I, I also like the people because they're, they are so nice, teacher. And my second option could be, let me see, teacher, could be San Salvador City, teacher, because there are many places to go. Uh, there is a, there are many, many favorite restaurants and also teacher is a very specific place that you can find feeders, cinema, the market, schools, etc. Thank you, Neri. Question number, let me see, number six. I'm going to ask you, Berito, can you please to, to read, help me to read number six. Describe your neighbor, neighbor. Neighborhood. Neighborhood. All Neighborhood. right. Question number six is like a, describe your city. Describe the place you live. So describe your neighborhood. Well, teacher, I live in Merliot City. It's a very nice place to live. One reason is because there are many parks, there are many malls, and also there is a famous park that is the Bicentenario Park, teacher. And also there is a very famous place that people and family like to go. For example, the Little Prince is very famous in El Salvador. Thank you so much. I'm going to ask you, Mr. Urrutia, can you please help me to read number seven? Vamos okay. preparar. Uh, Thank you, Mr. How do you, how do you see yourself in five years? Oh, teacher, I see myself. I see myself having a new house. I see myself visiting Colombia. To be more specific, teacher, Cartagena. Uh, I see myself getting married. Or I see myself, teacher, visiting my family who lives in Italy. Okay, so how do you see yourself in five years? Thank you, mister. And the last one, I'm gonna choose Samu. Can you please, number eight. What's your perfect job? Why? Well, like a profession. Okay, teacher, I have many options. Option number <clears> one, <throat> to be an English teacher. Yes, this is the this is the perfect one for me, okay? Why, teacher? Because number one, I like to help people. Number two, I really enjoy having good conversations with my students. Number three, I really like to get up in the morning and think about my students. And like I said, my goodness, today I have classes with my students. So, and the last one, because for me, it's a vocation. Option number two, teacher, could be, I would like to be a vet. The simple reason is, teacher, because I like animals. I like animals. All right. So, guys, I'm going to start by individual, excuse me, by uh, volunteers. Remember, we got eight questions, but you are going to choose only one. So, volunteers, please. Or may I choose five? Four, excellent. I got Flor and I got Veronica. I got Elida. Thank you so much. Muy bien, señoritas. Florcita, inicio contigo. Question number? Okay, teacher. Um, I answer question number three. Okay, I'm going to read it for you. Florcita, what do you do when you feel sad? Okay, teacher. When I feel sad, I go to the gym. I like to go out with my friends. Mm -hmm. um, I also like to listen to music and sleep. Um, sometimes I paint to distract myself. Wow, perfect. Thank you so much. No mistakes. Thank you. I'm going to continue with Veronica. Berito, please. Question? Number eight. Number eight. Veronica, <clears throat> what's your perfect job? In my case, teacher. And uh, number one uh, is English teacher because, because practice, practice to learn in English class. Okay. Number two, veterinary because <coughs> I like, I like animals. I prefer a specific, a specific dog. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Berito. Nice. The next one is, who's the next one, guys? 
Eli, Samu, Annelise, Elida, Helen, Kevin, Neri, Miguel. Yes, who's the last, who's the next one? Don't be afraid, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Neri. Hey, don't be afraid, okay? Remember, if you are in the class, it's because you want to speak in English, okay? No worries. De verdad, usted tiene apagada la cámara, que mire, se van a reír de mí. Créanme que eso, eh, me atrevería a decir que ya no pasa en ningún lado. Yo tengo experiencia dando clases en privados, en públicos, virtual, presencial, y de verdad ya nadie, ya nadie hace eso de reírse de, de, de otro cuando se equivoca, así que, y menos acá que nadie nos mira ni nadie nos conoce, así que no se preocupe. Neri, what's your question? Uh, your microphone, Neri, is off. Number six. Number six. Neri, describe your neighborhood. Yes, my neighborhood, I many, many houses. Um, there are two parks. Uh -huh. the, there is a church, there is a pool. Uh -huh. There is a, ¿cómo se dice? Carretera, freeway. Freeway. There is a freeway. There is a gas station. Uh -huh. Yes. That's it. <clears throat> That's it. All right. Thank you so much, Neri. Okay, You're who's welcome. ready? Eli, Samuel, Annelise. Okay, I got Samu and then Eli de Lara. Okay, Samuel, what's okay, Elida? Perfect. Samuel, what's your question? Okay, Kevin. Uh eight. <clears throat> Number eight. Samu, what's your perfect job? Oh, maybe a uh work in the streaming like a uh, youtube or switch uh -huh. uh, yep. wow i enjoy it and i think uh i have a, a skills communication uh-huh okay that's nice and i i really love video games i think oh. it, this is my perfect job all right hey is that career in el salvador samu Sorry? Is that career in the in El Salvador? Um can I study that career here in El Salvador at the university? No. Ah, I, okay. I, I hasta donde sé, perdón, voy a hablar uh -huh. No worries. Sí, este, creo que no. Creo que vi algún meme al respecto que una universidad sí la iba a poner como carrera, pero uh -huh. no, honestamente. All right. Thank, thanks for the information. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Samu. All right. Eli de Lara, please. What's your question? The question number six. Number six. Describe your neighborhood, please. And then be ready, Kevin. Neighborhood. My neighborhood is very reserved. Uh -huh. They are very polite, but is they see is Who's great? Sometimes they, they come to war. Uh -huh. war. Who's if our pet has uh -huh. been left out of the house? I have always gone along nice. with my neighbors. I finish. Perfect. Thank you so much. Hey, do you have a dog, Ellie? See, sí, yes. What what kind of dog? For example, it's a pit bull, it's a sharp pit bull. it's a pit bull, it's a pit bull. Una pit bull, sí. Oh, that's nice. All right. How old is your pit bull? One year or two years old? Doce, twelve. twelve. Well, oh my goodness. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the information, Eli. Nice. Thanks for sharing. Okay. Okay. All right, Kevin, and then Elida Zamora. Okay, Kevin, go. What's your question? Uh, number one. Number one, describe your daily routine, Mr. Alvarez. And my daily routine uh, in the morning, I got up at 7 a.m. After I take a shower, then I have breakfast. Uh, <coughs> 8 a.m. After that, I go to park. 
I lunch at half past 12. Uh, in the afternoon, I go to visit my mother. I return my, my home at 6 p.m. I have a dinner at 7 p.m. I go to bed at 9 p.m. All right, but thank you so much. Perfect. So thank you, Mister. I'm taking notes. Let me see. Elida, are you ready to present? Yes, teacher. Perfect. And then, hello, Helen. You're you are gonna be the second one. Okay, Elida. Excuse me. What's your question? Uh, the number eight. Number eight. What's your perfect job and why? Uh, my perfect job is psychology. Wow, to um, be to be a psychology. Yeah. Excellent. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, because it allows me to help people improve uh -huh. their quality of life, hearing emotional. Uh, oh, sure. But my perfect job will be in a consulting room with a large space for children attention. Um, I want many toys and puppetry. Um, I would like to uh, ergonomic sofa for uh -huh. my partner and for me too. Uh, also hair, hair conditioning, music equipment and other things. Wow. Pero ahorita, pero ahorita no tengo. One of my best friends is a psychology. And she always said, Gabriela, to be a psychology is not easy because you have to get a lot of patient and also you have the capacity to keep secret. Yes, it's mm -hmm. not easy. So according to her, it's not easy, but mm -hmm. it's a really good profession because one of the um, points, you can help people by listening people, listening mm -hmm. problems, mm -hmm. people. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much, Elida. All right. Mm -hmm. So Helen, is no me falta nadie. Who, who's missing? ¿Quién me falta? Who's missing? Miguel and me. Annelise. All right. So Helen, number one, Miguel, you are the second one, and Annelise, you are the last one. Okay, Helen, what's your question? Question three. Number three. Helen, what do you do when you feel sad? Um, I am feel sad when I remember that I was in the hospital for a month. Mm -hmm. I'm September 20, 2021. Wow, um, two years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, it's the, I am, I am Michael from God. And what do you do when you feel sad? For example, in my case, when I feel sad, I really like to go for a cafe with my best friends. What about you, Helen? Uh, no, no, I don't understand you. ¿Qué haces cuando te sientes triste? Um, In my case, I really like to go for a café or I really like to go to the... Well, this is true. Eh, eh, se, se escucha un poco, eh, 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 no sé, como común, pero de verdad, I really like to go to the Bicentenario Park. Um, What about you? Um, salgo. Okay, you, repeat. I got up. I got I out. Got up. I go out. Okay. With your family, with your friends? Um, with my family. With your family. All right. What else? ¿Qué más? Go to, okay, go out with your family. What else? ¿Qué más? Painting, um, listening to music, go to the cinema, go and visit your listening. grandma. Uh -huh. uh, listening to music. Listening to music. All right. Thank you so much, Helen. Thanks for sharing, okay? So the second one, Miguel, and I'm gonna conclude with Annelise. Okay, Michael, what's your question? Um, I think number, uh, number six. Number six. Describe yeah. your neighborhood, please. Uh, well, in my neighborhood, uh, well, in front of my house, I have a tower of apartments. Uh, next to them, I have a hospital. Uh -huh. I like my neighborhood because I I have close a supermarket and a 
the is and uh -huh. the, the is is across of my of my corner and nice in in also in my neighborhood i have a lot of stores and uh bakery wow and that's it so important right <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Michael. I'm going to conclude with you, Annelies. Hi, Miren. good evening. Yes. Hello, princess. What's your question? Number two. Number two. Do you have talents, Annelies? Yes? No? Yes, I two. have. Mm -hmm. um, yo creo. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think is sing. Wow. Um, mm -hmm sing in my church some sorry and wow. I love sing and dance and draw sing and dance and draw yes wow that's it what 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 do you like to draw um views animals people places people's animals specific cats mm -hmm. I love draw cats uh -huh. <laughs> and it's it's my marca see Perdón, no sé cómo decir eso en inglés. Si ven un dibujo de un gato, la Nelly lo hizo. <laughs> This is your special. Yes. Cat. Wow, that's yes. really nice. So, but do you like to use all the colors or just black? Black because it's uh, estresante color. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. So, so draw, sing, and dance. Oh my goodness, you are an artist. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. For, thank you so much. And thanks for share. Okay. So who's missing? Nobody's missing. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Señores, hoy les traigo un tema para finalizar ya este módulo número cuatro. Un tema quiero que me ponga atención. Un tema súper genial. Yo voy a hacer una pregunta. Eli, cuando usted observa esa fotografía, ¿qué, qué, qué se le viene a la mente? Samo, nos preparamos con la misma pregunta. Cuando ven esa fotografía, ¿qué se les viene a la mente? What comes to your mind? Eli, you ready? Las, las partes de la cabeza. Ajá. ¿Qué o más? Cerebro, quizás este. Um, lo que. El, el, la, 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 la laringe. Excelente. La, la laringe. Laringe, faringe, no, ¿qué más? Todo, no es, uh -huh. ¿Samo? Eh, eh, la eh, faringe también está okay. ahí. Thank y you, muy bien. Lente. Muy, muy bien. bien. Sí. Ok, Samo, ¿qué observamos? Eh, básicamente, eh, donde se forma este, el sonido de cada una de las... De las letras, podemos decir. Exacto, exacto. Vamos a ver, ¿alguna otra opinión, Tiche? Yo observo esto. ¿Quién me ayuda? ¿Qué observan en esa imagen, señores? Lo que dijo él y lo que dijo... Sonido y como en la posición que tendríamos que poner la lengua, digamos. Exacto, muy bien, perfecto. Como se pronuncia los fonemas. Ok. Muy bien. Quiero que entiendan la imagen, por eso les estoy dando una pausa. Quiero que activen el micrófono porque esto es bien importante. ¿Alguien más? ¿Alguna otra opinión? Eh, las diferentes este, estructuras eh, fisiológicas que intervienen en la pronunciación de los diferentes este, pues, sí, sonidos. Excelente. Todos han dicho... Obviamente cosas muy ciertas, cosas que son muy positivas, pero en realidad quien le pegó más a, a la respuesta fue Elida. En inglés no solamente es decir, what's your favorite animal, no solamente es decir, uh, I have hobbies, no solamente es decir, I'm gonna talk about my daily routine. Si usted se fija, obviamente todos los idiomas, no hay ningún idioma sin excepción. Todos los idiomas, cada letra ocupamos desde la nariz, desde el cielo de la boca, 
desde la lengua, toda la lengua, desde la punta de la lengua hasta toda la parte de atrás. Los dientes, ¿se ha fijado cuando a una persona le falta dientes? Habla de una forma distinta. Cuando a una persona le falta la campanita o cierta parte de su, de, de, de su estructura para poder hablar, se escucha distinto, ¿ok? Aquí no tiene que nada ver, no me, no me vaya a confundir el tema eh, con, con pronunciación de que, ah, es, es, que, es que este se pronuncia así, porque entonces nos iríamos a Huachapán, que hablan cantadito, y nos iríamos a San Miguel, que dice que hablan, hablan con la J, creo que, si no me equivoco. Entonces, eh, no estamos hablando de eso, no estamos hablando de eso. Por ejemplo, voy a hacer un ejercicio. Quiero que repita conmigo y diga Apple. 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 Manzana, ¿verdad? Digan conmigo. Apple. 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 Ahora, a, abro la boca. A, ¿Y cómo? ¿Qué parte ocupo para pronunciar la palabra Apple? Los labios. Los labios. labios. Yo no puedo decir Apple. Ni la lengua. Exacto. Yo no puedo decir Apple con la boca completamente. Ah, ah, necesito. ¿Cómo se le llama esa pronunciación, señores? Cuando utilizo los labios. Diga conmigo. By labial. By labial. Ahora, usted ya sabe de que la pronunciación by labial es porque se utilizan los labios. Dígame otra palabra que sea bailabio. Cook. Cook. No, mantengo los labios abiertos. Dígame una palabra donde utilice apple, que utilizo los labios que se juega. Apple. Bad. Admon. Almond, me encanta, muy bien, Almond, D. ahora, mire la palabra de Neri, diga conmigo, Almond, 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 ¿qué parte Almond. de la lengua utiliza? La puntita estoy utilizando. Almond, D, 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 D. pero ¿a dónde, a dónde posiciona Almond. la punta de la lengua? Cuando dice almendra, Almond. Exacto, entonces, ponga, exacto, muy bien, póngame atención, bailabial utilizo, me imagino que va anotando, ¿verdad? bailabial es cuando utilizo solo los labios, pero la palabra almond, almond, aparte de utilizar los labios, ¿qué más ocupo? La lengua. La, la lengua. lengua. ¿Y cómo se le llama esa pronunciación, Tiche? Diga conmigo, diga conmigo, perdón, labio. Labio. Dental. dental. Labio dental. dental. Porque utilizo los labios y utilizo la lengua, labio dental. Y toca, mire, toca, toca un poco los dientes de la parte de enfrente de arriba. Almond. 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 Ok, entonces esa es la clase que vamos a ver ahora. No se preocupe, que es algo súper fácil. Le voy a pedir a Michael, ¿me ayudas a leer, por favor? ¿Qué es la fonética? What's phonetic? Uh, what's phonetic? It's a, it is a Una branch pausa. Of... Voy a apagar los micrófonos de todos ahorita y enciendes el tuyo, Michael. Ok, démosle ahí. Obviamente, si usted quiere participar, active el micrófono. Yo para que no interfiera con el ruido. I'm so sorry, Michael. Go. Ok. Um, what is phonetics? It is a branch of linguistics, linguistics that studies how the sounds are produced. Um, it studies production and perception of sounds of the language. Language. Excelente. Thank you so much. Vamos con la primera. Vamos con las primeras palabras. Vamos con las primeras palabras. Esto es fonética. El pronunciar apple, almond, eh, tiene que ver mucho con los verbos irregulares en pasado, que a veces, lo, a veces decimos, por ejemplo, el verbo watch. Decimos watch, ¿verdad? No, para eso es la fonética. Quiero que observe mi cursor. 
tengo la primera I, el sonido es como E. Diga conmigo, E. 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 Vamos con la segunda. Diga conmigo, I. 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 Yo tengo I. una pregunta. ¿Cómo se dice inglés en inglés? English. English. Me encanta. No English. se dice English. I speak English. No, vos no hablas nada. <ríe> I speak English. Dice. No, I speak English. Como con una suave E. 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 Ok. Ahora, vamos con la primera columna. La primera columna se pronuncia con una suave E. 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 La primera es bend, chep, hes, et, set. Repito, ben, chep, hes, et, sit. Repito, ben, chep, hes, et, set. Vamos con la segunda. La segunda columna se pronuncia como la I latina de nosotros, como iglesia, imán, invierno, etc. Vamos con la primera. Bing, bing, bing. Chip, chip, chip. His, his, his. Eat, eat, eat. Sit, sit, sit. Ahora, en el caso de, vamos a ocupar esta, la segunda. Chip and chip. No se, ¿Se pronuncian igual, sí o no? No. Chep, chip. Chep, chip. Nosotros los latinos, los latinos decimos quitarle el chip al celular, un ejemplo. No. Si usted dice quitarle el chip, ¿qué es chip? Barato. Yo tengo un corazón barato. ¿Me doy a entender? Esa es la confusión. Esa es la confusión. Por eso tiene que estudiar fonética. Los diccionarios, muchas veces, los buenos dicen diccionarios, traen la palabra y entre corchetes trae cómo se pronuncia la palabra. Observe aquí en este caso. Vamos, voy, me voy con la más común. ¿Qué es set? Set down. Sentar. Sentar. Hey, dicen los maestros de inglés. Los míos no, pero dicen los maestros. Sit down, dice. No se dice sit, porque sit es, es, es un objeto, o sea que es un... Es un... ¿Qué es sit? Observe mi cursor. ¿Qué es sit? Cinco, cuatro. Diga conmigo, asiento. Asiento. Quiero que me Siento. siga, no se pierda. Observe el primero. En la primera columna es verbo. Set, set. Hey, could you please sit down, please? ¿Podrías, por favor, sentarte? Pero, ¿qué es lo que a veces los maestros dicen? Could you please sit down? Sí, sí, no es sit. El sit es el, es el objeto. Sit es el objeto donde vos te sentás. Es un objeto, no es un verbo. Pero cuando vos vas a hablar del verbo es con E. Set, set. Entonces, comparemos. Usted va a hacer esto ahorita. Ven. Bing. Voy a apagar ahí el micrófono que alguien me está haciendo ahí ruidito. Ok. Ven. Bing. Chep. Cheap. Has. His. It. Eat. Set. Seat. Voy a ir la última vez y todos los voluntarios que quieran participar en pronunciación, activen sus manos en lo que la teacher termina de pronunciar nuevamente. Ven. Bean, chep, cheap, his, his, et, eat, set, seat. Ok, necesito tres voluntarios. Annelise, one. Eli de Lara, two. Y one is missing, me faltaría uno. One is missing, one is missing, one is missing. Neri, three. Ok, Anelis y se prepara Eli de Lara. Anelis, go ahead. 
pen being checked, chip has his at it and set it. Set. Perfect. Thank you, Annelise. Ellie, be ready, Nelly. Um, Ellie, your microphone, please. Okay. 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 Then, being chip, chip has his, he, it, it, set, sit. Wow, perfect. Thank you, Ellie. Perfect. Neri, concluyo con usted. Go ahead. Bim, bim, chet, chit, his, his, it, it, sit, sit. sit. It. All right, perfect, thank you. Dice, yo quiero participar, ya me animé, o paso a la siguiente, cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno, voy con la siguiente, vamos a ver. Vowels sound. La primera, Z, D, Z, Did. Dicen los alumnos, I did the homework. Ah, uh ah. -uh. I did the homework. Es como una suave E. No se dice literalmente así como, di, 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 di. No. I, I did the homework. La segunda. Teacher, ¿y cómo voy, a, cómo voy a hacer yo en este caso? Para saber en este caso la pronunciación. La mayor cantidad de palabras. Tienen siempre dos vocales juntas. Observe aquí. ¿Qué tienen en común la segunda columna? La mayoría sí. tiene la E y la A. La E y la A siempre se pronuncian I. 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 Repito. La E y la A, cuando usted ve una palabra que tiene juntas las dos vocales, la E y la A, se pronuncian I. I. Bing. Chip. It. Sit. Observe acá. Tengo cuántas vocales. Tengo solamente una. La mayor cantidad de palabras que solo tiene la vocal I, la clase está quedando grabada para que usted la repase, la estudie. La mayor cantidad de palabras, como en el caso de estas, que solo tiene una vocal y es I, se pronuncia como una suave E. Ven, chep, has, et, set. ¿Ok? Hay que estudiar o, decir, o quizás van a tener tarea. ¿Cómo pronunciaríamos la primera en pantalla? Activemos micrófonos. Yes. Voy a ir mostrando las palabras y quiero que usted sí. las lea, por favor. Las pronuncie, perdón. Démosle. Green. Slip. 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 Slip.
Still. Muy bien. Voy a hacer el último. Me encantó. Voy a hacer el ejercicio nuevamente. Activemos micrófonos. Voy a hacer pausa en esta. ¿Se acuerdan en nivel 1? My name is, decían. My name is. My name is. My name is. My name is. Mm. My name, yo sin miedo lo digo en el aspecto de my name is, yo sin miedo me voy de un solo, my name is, pero my name is, my name is, decimos en nivel uno, ¿verdad? pero no, my name is, my na my mi nombre name. es, mi nombre es, my name is, 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 Steel. 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 Ok. Leo yo la si voy a apagar micrófonos y nos vamos a preparar. Permítame. Ok, aquí estoy ya. Recuerde, eh, si quiere activar el micrófono para participar, no hay ningún problema. Ahorita lo vamos a apagar. Permítame, voy a mover acá. Ok. Según el corchete. ¿Todas las palabras se pronuncian con I o con E? Con E. Muy bien. Con I e. will, I will, no, I will. No, 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 will es Wilson, vea el, el vecino, no. I will. I will visit her tomorrow. Number two. My grandmother has a che. No chicken, no chicken, no, chicken. My grandmother has a chicken. Where can buy a pig? No es pig. El pig, no es pig. Ok, como así, piqui, vea. El inglés es piqui, señores. I want a big house. I want a big house. Don't, don't blank. Hey, blank es un, es, es un verbo. ¿Saben qué significa blank? ¿Cinco? No. ¿Pegar? No, Pestañar. No pestañez, los salvadoreños. No, las cinco significa no pestañez. Creo que así se dice, no pestañez, pestañez. Pero es pestañear, ¿ok? So, don't blank. Number six. I want you wash the dirty dishes. En la palabra sucio, di, ahí sí, diri, 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 sucio. Hay gente que dice dirty, también se puede, pero yo prefiero diri. Pero usted dice, no, teacher, yo prefiero decir dirty, también está. Entonces, número uno. I will visit her tomorrow. Number two, my grandmother has a chicken. Number three, where can we buy a pig? Number four, I want a big house. Number five, don't blank. Number six, I want you wash the dirty dishes. Cuando yo lo ponga a leer, no vaya a hacer esto. I will, be, con tal de pronunciar la E, lo hacemos despacio. No, yo quiero que usted lea como cuando lee en español. Number one, teacher. I will visit her tomorrow. Number two, my grandmother has a chicken. Number three, where can we buy a pig? Number four, I want a big house. Number six, don't blink. Number, excuse me, number five, don't blink. And number six, I want you wash the dirty dishes. Okay, démosle, voluntarios. Voluntarios. Kevin, inicio contigo. Go ahead. Elige por el tiempo. Tengo seis oraciones. Elige tres. Ok. Eh, I, will, I will visit her tomorrow. Solo, solo que dime así. Number one, number four. Ok. Number para one. yo estar pendiente, ¿cuál es la que vas a leer, por favor? Number one, mm, number two, and three. Ok. Say one. Go ahead. I will visit her tomorrow. My grandmother has a chicken. Where can we buy a pig? 
Okay. Thank you, Kevin. Benito, go ahead. Number one, teacher. Number three and number six. Okay. I will visit her tomorrow. And where can we buy a pick? I want you to wash the series dishes. dishes. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Berito. Uh, Volunteer, please. I got, I got Eli de Lara, go ahead. Okay, number one, number three, number five. Okay, go. I will visit her tomorrow. Where can we buy a pet? Don't a black, don't black. Don't blank. Excellent. Thank, Thank you, Eli. So, volunteer five, four, three, two. I got Elida and then Neri. Elida one and Elida, Neri, and Elise. Okay, ladies, go. Number one, I will visit her tomorrow. My grandmother has a chicken. Where can we buy a pig? A pig. Thank you, Elida. Neri, be ready, Annelise. Yes, number four, five, six. I want a bed house. Don't blend. I want you to wash the dirty dishes. Yes, the dirty dishes. Thank you. Annelise, finalizo contigo. Okay, number one, uh, three, and four. I will visit her tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Where can we buy a pill? A pill and a pill. Mm -hmm. I want a big house. I want a big house. All right. So one more. No one. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. So look at. According to the corchete, what can be the pronunciation? E or E? E. 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 Se me olvidó e. numerarlas. Okay. E. E, E, I want to speak. Let's go to the beach. This bird has a long beak. They make a great team. I want to have a sheep. I like to drink green tea. Diga conmigo, speak. 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 Sheep. 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 Green tea. Green, Green tea. tea. Okay. Green. Again, I want to speak English. Let's go oh. to the beach. This bird has a long beak. They made a great thing. I want to have a sheep. I like to drink green tea. One more time and the last one. I want to speak English. Let's go to the beach. This bird has a long beak. They make a great team. I want to have a sheep. And the last one, I like to drink green tea. Voluntarios, activemos manitas. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. Benito, inicio contigo. Elige tres. Number one, teacher. Number three. Y number five. Okay. Uh, I want to speak English. This beer. Uh, 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 the last one. I want to speak eh, eh, English. English. Okay. I want to speak English. This beer has a long beak. Okay. I want to have a ship. A ship. Okay. Sha. Remember, sha, she, 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 she. Sheep. 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 All right. Sheep. And this one. El, este pájaro, this bird. No beer, no. Beer es, es cerveza. Aquí sería bird. 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 All right. Bird. Helen, voy contigo. Number five. Number four, five, y six. Okay. They, they make a great team. Okay. I want to have a tip. I like to drink tea. All right. Thank you so much, Helen. So... 
The another one, please. Who's ready? Let me see. Thank you, Samu. Go ahead, please. Uh, number number two, four, um, and five. All right, go. Cool. Let's go to beach. They make a great team. Okay. And I want to have a ship. All right, thank you. Samu, can you please help me to choose one uh one student? Can you see the list? Yeah. Yeah, teacher. Uh, or I don't know if me if Michael is ready. Hi. All right, thank you, Mister. Go ahead. Um, which one? All. Just no, just just three options. Yeah. Ah, uh, number one. Okay, go. Uh, number four. All right. Uh, number six. Okay. Uh, I want to speak English. Um, they make a great team, and I like to drink green tea. All right, to drink green tea. All right, thank you so much. So thanks to all of you. So another volunteer, or may I continue? Fine. Four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right. Okay, my dearest students, this is your final evaluation for today. So what's the final quiz? So you are gonna read the text and I'm gonna measure just your pronunciation, right? Lo único que les voy a evaluar es pronunciación. So lo voy a leer yo primero por ustedes y la persona que lo vaya leyendo Puede, eh, en este caso, ya irse retirando de clases y nos preparamos mañana para su examen final. Señores, dudas o preguntas? Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, thank you so much. I'm going to read it for you, and then you are going to participate as a volunteer. So, let's start. Mary was very hungry, so she decided to treat herself to some sushi. She, re she really liked the taste of raw fish. She also liked the music that was playing at the restaurant. It was classical music, her favorite after dinner. She went to the movie theater to see the latest, latest, esta palabra siempre me la preguntan, esta, latest Brad Pitt movie. There was a very long line in front of the theater, but she did not mind. Finally, she was able to go in, in no es in, okay, it's end, porque solamente tengo una vocal, okay? So, she was able to go in and take a seat, just as the movie was starting. She enjoyed, remember, uh, ese es verbo regular, enjoyed, d, d, no es enjoy it, ¿ok? La pronunciación va al final. She enjoyed the movie a lot. I was really surprised by the end then. Ok, my dears. So, <laughs> so who's ready? Oh, may, may, may I choose by myself? Who's ready? Ok, thank you so much, Berito. You are the first one. Neri, you are the sec. Me encanta cuando digo voluntarios y activan esas manitas. So, Berito, Neri, Michael, Andrea, ok, excelente, sí, me encanta. So, Berito, please, go ahead. Mary was very angry. So, she decided to thrill her, herself to some sushi. She really liked the taste of raw. Fish, she also liked the music that was playing at the restaurant. It was classic, classical music. Her favorite after dinner, she went to the movie theater to see the last Brad Pitt movie. There was a very long line in front of the theater. 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 But she did not miss it. Finally, she was able, able to go and 
and take a seat. Sit just has the movie was starting. She enjoyed mm -hmm. the movies a, a lot and was really surprised by the ending. By the ending. All right. Thank you so much, Berito. You got 7.1. Okay. Thank you, Berito. Just be ready for tomorrow. You are going to take your final exam. Thank you, Berito. Thank you, Chef. Neri, and then be ready, Michael. Okay. Mary, Mary was very hungry, so she decided to tear herself to some sushi. She really liked the taste of raw fish. She also liked the music that was playing at the restaurant. Restaurant. It uh, it uh, was classical music. Her favorite. Favorite. After dinner, favorite. She went, favorite. After dinner, she went to the movie theater to see the last Brad Pitt movie. There was a very long line in front of the theater, but she did not mean finally, mind. Mind. Finally, she was up. Able, finally. Finally, she was able to go in and, and take a seat. Just as the movie was start starting, she enjoyed the movie a lot and was really surprised by the ending. By, by the ending. By the ending. All right. Thank you, Neri. You got 7.4. Thank you, Neri. 7.4. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Well, excuse me. Be ready for tomorrow, okay? Let me see. Michael, go ahead, please. Um, okay, Mary was very hungry, so, so she decided to throw herself to some sushi. She really liked the taste of her, her raw fish. She also liked the music that was playing at the restaurant. It was classical music, her favorite. After dinner, she went to the movie theater to see the latest Brad Pitt movie. There, is a, there was a very long line in front of the theater, but she did, she did not mind. Finally, um, she was able to go in and take a seat just as the movie was starting. She enjoyed the movie a lot and was really surprised by the ending. All right, perfect. You got 10. Thank you so much, Michael. Perfect. All right, Andrea, go ahead, please. Okay, teacher. Mary was very young. So so she decided to treat herself, herself to some sushi. She really liked the taste of raw fish. She also liked the music that was playing at the restaurant. And classical music, her favorite. After dinner, she went to the movie theater to see the, the late Brad Pitt movie. There was a very long line in front of the theater but she died not mine. Finally, she was able to go in and, and take a seat. Just as the movie was starring, she enjoyed the movie a lot and was really surprised by the ending. Wow, perfect. Miss Gavidia, you got 10. Thank you, Andrea. Really nice job. Be ready for tomorrow, okay? Thank you. Mr. Alvarez, go ahead. Mary was very hungry, so she decided to treat herself to some sushi. She really liked the taste of raw fish. She also liked the music that was playing at the restaurant. It was classic, classical music, her favorite after dinner. She went to the movie theater to see the last Brad Pitt movie. There was a very long line in front of the theater, but she did not mind. Finally, she was able to go in and, and take a seat just as the movie was starting. She enjoyed the movie a lot and was really surprised by at the ending. By the ending. Thank you, Mr. Alvarez. You got 9.5. Thank you, Mr. Eli de Lara, go ahead. <clears throat> okay. 
Mary was very hungry, so did they decide to treat herself to some sushi. She really liked the legs uh, of raw fat fish. She also liked the music that were, was playing at the restaurant. It was classic music. Her favorite after dinner, she went to the movie there uh, to see the last brand pit movie. There was a very long line in front of the letter, but she does not mind. Finally, she was able to go in, in and take a seat. Who, just as the movie was starting, she enjoyed, enjoyed the movie a lot and was really surprised by the ending. By the ending. Thank you, Ellie. You got 8.1. 8.1. Thank you, Ellie. Helen, please go ahead. Mary was very hungry. So she decided to treat her, herself to some sushi. She really liked to the taste of raw fish. She also liked the music that they playing at the restaurant. It was classical music. Her favorite after dinner, she went to the movie theater to see the last Brad Pitt movie. There was a very long line in the front of the theater, but she died but she did not mind. Finally, she was able to the inn and, uh, and take a seat. Just as the movie was starting, she enjoyed the movie a lot and was really surprised by and the end. By the ending. Thank you so much. Thank you, Helen. Perfect. You got 8.5. 8.5. Thank you, Helen. Florcita, go ahead, please. Okay, teacher. Mary was very hungry, so she decided to treat herself. The some sushi, she really liked the taste of front fish. She also liked the music that was playing at the restaurant. It was classical music, her favorite. After dinner, she went to the movie theater to see the Larry's Brad Pitt movie. There was a very long line in front of the theater, but she did not mean finally she was out to go in and take a seat. Just as the movie was starting, she enjoyed the movie a lot and was really surprised by the ending. All right, perfect. Thank you, Florcita. You got 10. Really nice. Thank you so much. Chicos, quedo pendiente con Samu, Anel, solo con Samuel, Anelis y Elida. Mándenme la lectura en audio. Quiero ver si le puedo tomar la foto porque eh, ya voy con el otro grupo. Van a disculpar, lo que pasa es que ya, están, ya me pasé cinco minutos y ya va entrando el otro grupo. Entonces, le voy a tomar foto ahorita y la voy a enviar al grupo. Y por favor, lo único que van a hacer es grabarse, eh, grabar en audio la, la, la lectura. No sé si me doy a entender, ¿sí? Yes, teacher. Perfecto. Van a disculpar. Van a disculpar que ya me pasé y ya está entrando el otro grupo, pero me lo envían en audio, porfa, para yo ponerle la, eh, mandarle la nota también. Hoy mismo. Sí, porfa. Ahí les mandé la captura. Hey, thank you guys. So be ready tomorrow. You are going to take your final quiz, okay? Good night, people. Good night, Jeff.